Hello, good people, and welcome to another episode of Parenting Tales with Jesse Omondi. I know it's been a while, forgive me for that, but it's because I've been busy with work and my hands are full currently dealing with two small babies. Not just the twins, but then the other ones, the older ones also with the schools, homework, full-time job. It's not been easy. Forgive me. I promise to try and become better. So today I'm going to talk to you about two things. One, remember during my last video I talked about me consuming the money for my babies from their piggy bank. But I had promised that before the year ends I was going to do something and try and refund. So true to my promise, today I got a new piggy bank that I want to get serious, start saving up for them and refund the money that I consumed in the course of the year, good people, a club for a mother, you know, I'm doing great, right? I don't want my kids to see me and look at me like I'm a thief who stole and I did not keep the promise of refunding their money. So when I came home this evening and gave them and showed them the piggy bank, oh, they were so happy and they were like, oh, wow, mom, now we're going to start saving again? I said, yes. So I also want to tell you about a certain cartoon that I came across today. It's actually teaching the children financial literacy from a tender age of seven years. I mean, between seven years to around 13, 12 years uh, there and about. Um, I think it's something that we can all, we as parents, get into it and begin training our children the importance of saving up money from their tender age so that by the time they are grown they will know how to save money work for money and probably donate something small to the needy in the society or give it back as a form of you know assisting the less privileged um so financial literacy is very important especially here in kenya Look at the inflation, not just Kenya alone, but in today's world of economy. If you want to live a better life, I would guess that's how Wazungus do. They start saving as little money, amount of money from when they are young. Unlike when I was growing up, there was nothing like that. You could not even get a single coin unless you request from your parents that you want to go and buy a candy or something. It is when you can get that amount. So I want to change that narrative for my kids. And of course, you also at home can change. So get yourself a piggy bank. This one, I got it from the Prudential because they were in partnership with Akili Kids, actually. That's where there's a cartoon. What do I call it? It's a cartoon channel that tries to equip the young kids with financial management skills better ways of saving up money and that station it's in Akili kids network and they call themselves Cha Chaching. i will write the full details and leave it right down below this video or rather in the description box for you people to get to know more about that Chaching channel that can help you and your kids to become better managers of finances that will lead to financial freedom thank you that is the part part one of today's video and so secondly what i do in the evening when i come home before sleeping right now it's around 10 30 if i'm not wrong according to my watch and um at least the babies are already in bed Thank God. So, I want to jump into the second session of this. I love reading books. And this is a very nice book by Rich. Um, it's written, the author is Robert T. Kiyosaki. He's talking about uh, a guide to investing, what the rich invest in that the poor and the middle class do not so it's a very interesting book i think i started reading this book about two months ago i've not been able to finish because again sometimes i come home and i'm it's really i'm really tired or it's really late that i cannot even 
get time to read one or two chapters so right now i'm not so far i'm on page 89 and this section is talking about the future and the planning of being old i know it's something that you really want to learn if you want to become a better person in investing it guides you on what to invest in and uh Kumbe, all these things that we've been thinking, oh, you know, I'm doing a business, I'm investing, I'm doing blah, blah, blah. We are not doing it right. So if you grab yourself this copy of a uh, book, it's a guide to, I don't know if you can be able to see. Yeah, it's a guide to investing by Robert T. Kiyosaki. And this particular book was a gift by one of a very good friends of mine that. He told me that he wants me to become a better person when it comes to understanding financial. Understanding what? What am I even saying? When it comes to understanding financial markets, capital markets, and anything that you want to invest or lay your hands in without failing. If you read this book, it will give you a better knowledge of understanding. So right now, because it's around 10.35, I want to see if I can be able to finish at least one chapter before going to sleep. And I want to go to chapter 8, which is talking about getting rich is automatic if you have a good plan and stick to it. Um, in the course of reading this book, the very first chapters, I was also able to talk about um, investing is a plan, not a product or procedure. At least I've learned something about that. And there is also the 90-10 rule of saving up your money on a monthly basis. So it's really good. I'm sure if you grab yourself a copy, I'm not sure if it's available on soft copy, but this one was bought from the house of rust i'm sure you can get it in town it's along mamangina street yeah it's a very nice book so you can get yourself a copy and you become a better investor for the future of your lovely kids or even for you as an individual so thank you so much i do not want to take more of your time i promise to be giving you tips from here from reading this book and i will tell you how this goes with us so i've decided that we're going to start saving right from this minute and then i'm not going to touch it i want to challenge myself uh mark today's date as 29th and i want to see by god willing next year the same date how much we will have saved for all the four kids yeah that's right i have four babies i'm a mother of four one the firstborn being eight years old second one is three and a half years and now the duo who are one year one month and their story is coming up next so Please remember to press the notification bell, rather the notification button, so that when I upload their video, because I'm really working on something, guys, about the twins, you do not want to miss what I will speak about next. Thank you very much for always coming by, tuning in, watching, commenting. And, of course, to all the subscribers, thank you. I do not take you for granted. May the good Lord continue to bless you and Im increase and expand your territories for you and your future generations. Thank you and have yourselves a lovely night. My name is Judith Yorona Mundi and this is the Parenting Tales Show. Bye-bye.